kutoka London. Hii ni Swahili Voice Exclusive. Councillor Saima, we are pleased to having you today and thank you. thank you for welcoming us into the town hall offices. Yeah, thank you, welcome. Uh, on behalf of Swahili Voices, uh, we thank you for your time, but we would like to clarify a few questions from you. Yeah. Recently, we have conducted the event of Eid in the Park, yeah. which is your area. What reports do you have or insights or feedback you got from that event recently? Okay. Well, uh, first of all, welcome to the town hall. Um, on this event, uh, this is something that is very close to my heart. Um, as a leadership, we make sure that you know uh, all the groups, the Muslim groups, are able to pray in the park on uh, Eid day, and it can be Eid al-Fitr or Eid al-Hada. It depends. Um, it's always an option that is open to all the groups. Uh, I make sure that the correspondence is sent well before Eid, so um, the groups can apply and um, you know complete all the formalities uh, in order to have uh, an event in the park as smooth as possible. It's a uh, it's an event that is always you know it wasn't always the case. So I'm pleased to say that you know we've worked hard to have this. And um, I'm really proud that you know our communities are able to go and pray in the park. But also, it's always good to hear the feedback from the community, which I have to say are not forthcoming um, to me directly, for sure. So being the lead member uh, of community leadership and engagement, but also uh, looking after parks and events, you know, it's, it's something that I would welcome uh, to receive, but also uh, I do have a feedback coming from the offices. So the offices do come back to me and tell me if, you know, things went smoothly or if we had any issues. Um, and uh, to the latest Eid al-Fitr 2024, um, I was told that, you know, things um, have, uh, prayers happened in seven parks, alhamdulillah. Uh, and uh, didn't really had a massive issue reported to me. And often it doesn't mean that things don't happen, but it means it's not something for me to worry about. So, mm. you know, I welcome feedback, obviously. You know, I've always been uh, an elected member that works with the community and welcome feedback from my community. And also, uh, if there is negative feedback or if there is a, a need to change or to make things uh, in a different way. Mm -hmm. I'm open to suggestions because it's not about what I want you to do or what we're doing to you as politicians. Mm -hmm. We want people to be collaborative with us and work together because they make Barking and Dagenham, especially the Swahili community, if you're the largest in Europe here in Barking and Dagenham, yes. we want to hear from you and we want to know what is working and what is not. So I would always welcome feedback. Kutoka London, he ni Swahili Voice Exclusive. Thank you very much. But we have now a challenge of space when it comes to celebrating most of the cultural events, citing the one recently at Anur Eid Fun Fair. Mm -hmm. it, the, the area was too small and yeah. at some point deemed unsafe for children because of the turmeric ground. Mm -hmm. We asked them a few questions as to why that event could not be done in the park, but they didn't seem to know if that event qualifies to be accepted, to be conducted in the park. What do you mm -hmm. say about this? Well, I would say that um, our parks, are. we've got, we're very lucky in Barking and Dagenham, is that we've got the highest number of uh, green spaces and open spaces in uh, London. So publicly owned green spaces. So our parks belong to people. At the same time, we've got a green park strategy as well, which is available online. We want our parks to be used and we do have events going on. It's very simple. I want people to go online uh, to, or even to contact, you know, the groups such as Al Noor. Yes. They will know how to contact the event team. Yes. They just need to contact the team and uh, you know, work with them on the dates and what they would like to do and how to do it. Everything is possible. Um, there is uh, formalities and you know, papers to fill and all, et cetera. I'm not gonna bore everyone with this, but the procedure can be as smooth as we've had this conversation. So it's not that you know, it's not possible. 
Often I see that you know people do plan things very quickly and um, you know with uh, public sector etc you need to plan things in advance and go the right way. If people are facing any difficulties or they see that you know they're not getting anywhere I would definitely want to know that because I would want my community to use the parks like every other groups or even you know commercial uh, uh, events that are happening but the priority would be for our resident. Kutoka London, he ni Swahili voice exclusive. Thank you very much, but um, um, I have one last question. What message do you have to the Swahili community residing in Birking and Dagger? I'm considering it the largest yeah. Swahili community in Europe. Well, I'm really pleased to hear that first of all, but also, you know, I hope that uh, I will have more chances to uh, you know, put things to, in front of you. I want the community, Swahili community to be as much involved as possible into everything that we do. Uh, as politicians, we often say, you know, that we, want, we don't want to do things to you. We want you to be part of consultation. We want you to be part in everything that we do. We don't want to make decisions and just tell you this is how you have to behave or act or, or live. Mm -hmm. You know, it has to be a collaboration. So, uh, you know, being a resident myself, a mother of, you know, three children myself, I want the young, you know, the youngsters and our children, the next generation and everybody else to be part of everything that we do here in Barking and Dagenham. And if we do not, uh, you know, have a say in what's happening, then you're just accepting things, uh, you know, that are being imposed onto you. So having a voice Mm -hmm. is extremely important as much as voting or as much as you know uh, being part of a consultation or mm -hmm. being part of a school governing body I think if we don't sit down and you know sit at the table and make those decisions someone else is doing it for you you don't know if you've got you know the same values or if you don't know if something that you agree or maybe we are missing on important information that could be very you know, important to deliver to certain communities. So, you know, we've got things such as like donate a flag and we celebrate different communities, we celebrate different events, we raise the flag in the town hall. So if you have, you know, an important day as a Swahili, uh, Swahili community, we welcome you to come and donate us your flag and we can, you know, put it on the town hall. So we want the community to feel part of Barking and Dagenham to have a sense of belonging, especially if you are the largest community in Barking and Dagenham. That's very good news for us and our Swahili community. And on behalf of our viewers in Swahili Voice, yeah. we thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.